Okay? Uh. <laughs> okay, so today we're making some lamb cutlets. We're hopefully going to try and do it in the um, camp oven. Because we're not quite on lockdown, but we are um, trying to, you know, social distancing and stay at home. But we really miss camping, we really miss camp cooking and you know we could have gone out for a lot longer but we thought we'd give it a try at home. So we have some lamb cutlets that we bought from the supermarket. Um, really fancy these cooking them in a kind of like slow cooked rib style um, in the camp oven. So we'll give that a go, it's going to be maybe a little bit of sauce. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to see how it turns out. So, just going to get a bit of prep together at the moment. Um, I've basically just chopped up two cloves of garlic, really roughly, and I'm going to chop up one brown onion. So it doesn't need to be finely chopped because everything's just hopefully going to fall apart. Like we're going to cook this for a good couple of hours. Just got some regular mushrooms that we're probably just going to half, I think we'll just half them. Because uh, we don't want to thin slice them because they'll just turn into mush after a couple of hours cooking. Okay, so we're going to sear the meat on the fire. Um, we've got our little mac out. I pretty much covered it, rubbed it in a lot of olive oil. And uh, we're just going to pop it straight onto the grill on top of the fire to try and give it that nice smoky sear. And then we're going to pop it in the camp oven. All right, so Scott's got it. I'm just gonna go seat it uh. on the fire. <laughs> just gonna fry the fat. Yeah. Seal it in. Seal it in. Beautifully seared. I'm going to give this a splash of olive oil. First of all, I'm going to put in the garlic and the onions. And then I'm going to pop in the mushrooms. Ooh. Cables everywhere. And then let's do a bit of salt and pepper. big chunk um, and we'll cook up nice and slow. So a bit of a splash of soy sauce, by that much, maybe. I'm going to give it some hot sauce, just a little bit of hot sauce. Okay. That much? Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna give it some barbecue. Let's do about that much. And then we're gonna add in some tin tomatoes. Oh yeah. Okay, so maybe a little bit of Mustard. A bit of that in. So one of these uh, fancy mustards. We're going to add in some rosemary. And I am a wine drinker, so I'm just going to add in a splash of red wine. Add a bit of water, which I've pre put into this cider can. I promise it's just water. Now, we want to kind of fill it up to like three quarters of the way past the meat. It's not quite there yet. Let me flip it over. There we go. There we go. 
What do you reckon? That's better. And then the water is covering the meat, so you want to make it so it's about three quarters high on the meat, which is actually pretty ripe. Look at that, that's starting to mix in. That's getting real good. Yum. Okay. I think that's it. And then it's ready to go on the heat. What do you reckon? Okay. Oh, that looks good. Popping it on top of the fire. We're gonna cook it for about an hour. -ish. Gonna get the lid on it. Gonna have some heat underneath. Then also some coals on top. We're gonna slow cook it. It's gonna be perfect. Hey Zig. Yeah. Okay, so it's been resting for about eight minutes now. Been forced into this, but I'll uh, cut it down the guts and see how she looks. So there's the dog behind him being a bit of a pain. Alright, next video. Sharp knife. There we go. Ooh, that is perfect. Not too bad for lamb. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely delicious, guys. What do you think? Better than a shit sandwich. <laughs>